What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for our Scorpio Zodiac signs. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what other messages we can get for you before I start on other stuff today. I'm also going to be doing all of the elements today as well to see what's going on with the energy. All right, what's happening with Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Thank y'all for all the like, shares, and subscribes on the channel. The other set of videos I uploaded, it was a part one and part two because if you go too long on a video, it takes forever to upload. Because, honey, the way my internet set up, <laughs> baby, it be on its own time, okay? <laughs> like, the internet be like, first of all, what you're not going to do is rush me, okay? So, just heads up. All right, let's see. Oh, I also bought some more homemade cards. So, I'll be able to, like, make more, like, homemade sayings. If there's some things that y'all could think of that I could write on the cards... Feel free to put them in the comment section. If not, I'm just going to, like, every time I get a download, I'll write one. That's how I created this deck. Like, every time I get a download of something, I just write it down. I'm like, okay. I'm like, what messages do you want me to have? So, I'll write them down. So, all right, let's see. What's going on, Scorpio? Y'all hurt my wrist. What's going on? Scorpio energy. Scorpios, what's happening? What's going on with Scorpios, please, spirit? Messages for Scorpio, overall energy. Overall energy for Scorpio. Princess, you can be your own knight and sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. Okay. I just heard, get back up again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that Trolls movie. Um, now I've been watching that with my, with baby Snow. She loves that movie. But why am I getting like, with this princess... You can be your own knight and then sun, paint the sun back into your sky. It's kind of like maybe you, maybe the light in your life hasn't been there as much. Like maybe you haven't had the like drive or the ambition or like the spunk to like go outside, get outside. Maybe you've been in hermit mode, keeping to yourself a lot, something like that. But you're like, okay, the only person that can really just give me this happiness is me myself. So let me go ahead and make that happen for myself, which is good because that's self-love. That represents self-love, okay? So, number one, it says, you may be in a dire situation you need escaping from. Rest assured you have the power within to persevere. You already know you don't need to be rescued by a charming prince or a chivalrous knight in shining armor. You've got your own shield and sword and God's help anyone who thinks they can do a better job. Yeah, it's kind of like, if somebody come in and be like, look, I need, look, let me help Oh my gosh, like, let me help you show what, let me help show you what happiness is, or let me help you do this. You're like, nah, baby, I got it. <laughs> I don't need no, I don't need nobody to rescue me. Best believe it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. Because it's like, you realize, once you get to a phase in your life where you realize self-love is so important because any and everybody can come and go within your life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't need you to make me happy. I'm going to make myself happy. I need you to work on yourself, but I'm going to be happy myself, right? And then, you know, if we get together, we get together. You happy, I'm happy. We come together. We both, 333 three, three on the phone, we both can be happy together. But best believe, I'm going to go be happy, <laughs> like, with or without you. Because I'm not, once you've been in that phase where you allow somebody to come into your life and they're the ones that bring you happiness, it's like, and then that person walk out and then you got to, your whole world crashes and, you know, went through that it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I won't ever do that again. So, and that's what this card 11 is about. Don't build a home that will come crumbling down if a single person walks out of the front door. When it comes down to it, we can't depend on other people to make us feel happy or fulfilled. The fact is that people are going to leave from time to time, and you're the only one who's guaranteed to stay. Take the time to find sources of joy outside of your loved ones. You deserve happiness that lasts. Some of y'all, this could have been a person. Yeah, and then somebody could even be trying to make you out to be like the villain <laughs> somebody could be even like this would be the type of person they play victim you know because you can always rewrite the story right maybe somebody got away with something maybe yeah um i don't want to say the word but be fire stand up for yourself yeah it's like maybe somebody did something and they got away with their bad behavior because that's what that is i'm gonna read it to you i'm ready to you hold on here you go. It says, a hard truth to swallow, sometimes our villains win. 
However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose all hope. It just means that it's time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself after a personal tragedy. Some of y'all know went through some sort of hardship or something like that. And maybe that person got away with it. Hold on one second. Let me text her back. Hold on one second. Okay. So let me keep going. Yeah. Like this is like somebody could have did something, you know, effed up to you. Maybe you spoke up for yourself or you said something, you know what I'm saying? And somebody got like, you know... Somebody got away a with it, you know, some sort, of, some sort of bad behavior or something like that. Lavender, surround yourself with love and sundress, do it for you. It's like, you know what, baby? I'm not worried about it, okay? I can't worry about how you treat me or how you see me or that you don't see my value and my worth. But you know what I can do? I can go love on myself and surround myself with people that want to be around me, people that want to love on me, people that want to give me their time, their energy, people that want to... Um, experience life with me that's what i can do because one monkey don't stop no show you gotta keep on rolling you know what i'm saying that's what i'm getting because we got lavender surround yourself with love this is like and then i love this card because they got a little tail deck in the background <laughs> on the couch. but it's like y'all could be chilling with your friends you know what i'm saying hanging out doing you enjoying yourself you know what i'm saying and then it's like this would be the type of person who you dressing up for myself you mean you know what i'm saying myself because i want to feel good because i want to feel pretty let me go put some clothes on let me get that beard chopped up you know what i'm saying get that fade whatever get them get them dreads looks <laughs> freshly done you know what i'm saying that type of energy dragon slay them all because oh my god i'm just there just don't kill my vibe don't kill my vibe you know what i'm saying so you chilling you like baby it's nothing it's nothing it's <laughs> escapers come home to yourself and then you go and, 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 and go back into your little hermit mode, okay? All right, take control of your own narrative. Yeah. For some of y'all people, there's some people that want to keep you in this hermit mode. Like, they want to keep you, like, scared to come out, scared to meet new people, scared to, like, move forward. Like, y'all got some people like that, like, well, you know, this would be the type of person, well, you know, uh, I treated you well. Knowing that person didn't, but if you go out there, they, they going to treat you dirty. I was the best thing you ever had. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. Child, no. <laughs> no, that's not true. But this is somebody wanting to be controlling, wanting to be man, uh, manipulative, wanting to control how you show up, how you appear. You know what I'm saying? And the reason they can do that, because if you're not out in the crowd or you're not around people and stuff like that, and you just kind of like you know, logged off of social media, you to yourself, they can make up anything that they want to. They can say whatever they want to, which I mean, you shouldn't care what people say, but this is someone intentionally trying to do that. Like this is somebody you know have have hurt you before. You see her leg is injured. This is somebody you know that has hurt you before. Because you in this escapist energy, you just like, oh, avoid it. It's kind of like, let me just avoid it because it's just too much drama. I don't want to deal with it. You know, they were able to manipulate and control the lifestyle or your life or your narrative. But it's like, you still out there doing you, getting back out there, being seen, being noticed, being recognized, you know, like, dang. This would be like somebody saying, oh, Scorpio sat and depressed and they still, they still pining. Why am I saying that? I don't ever say that. Pining over me. And you, honey, they're like, you sure about that? Because I just seen Scorpio out with their friends. They look like they were having fun. <laughs> I don't think they was thinking about you. What? What do you mean they was out? Uh, they was out like with their friends, hanging out, having a good time. I don't. You sure? I mean, you must ain't seen Scorpio in a minute or something. Because Scorpio looked like they were doing fine to me. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> so let's see. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody thought they had you effed up. No, baby. No. <laughs> Scorpio is fine. So let's see. What's going on, Scorpio energy? Fighting for what you love. Oh, my nose is itching. Fighting for what you love. Claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. We have promiscuous, sleeps around a whole free for all, sleeps with your man, mm. sports player. So some of y'all are dealing with a player. My nose is itching. Some of y'all are dealing with a player and this person, you know, they could have like cheated. Now I just heard Keisha Coles, I should have cheated. So some of y'all were dealing with this person. This person cheated on you and you was loyal to them. You know what I'm saying? Like you was fighting for the relationship or fighting for the connection. 
but this person was busy entertaining other other people you know uh what's going on yeah staying centered aligning yourself with the universe but you stay in high vibrational no matter what this person did or what this person's doing this could also be people like trying to spread rumors and taint your image and stuff like that yeah fake friends like oh scorpio's a hoe scorpio's a thigh scorpio will do this scorpio will do that and you just like you're not studying it Maybe used to in the past, you'll run away from it. Just be like, oh my gosh, people are trying to bully me or talk shit about me. I just don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, bothered or, you know. But yeah, th and the reason why this is happening, because some of y'all were dealing with like a bugaboo energy. We have spoiled, getting spoiled, treating, catering, etc. Baby, somebody is watching you right now and you are just in this spoiled, doing your own thing, living life, enjoying life, being, being blessed by the universe type of energy okay setting the record straight even if you don't feel like it you may you may be the type of person that's not like um uh, materialistic or like show offy or you know things like that but you're being blessed you know you're being blessed by the universe you're, you're being seen you know what i'm saying one second all right my bad but um and then bugaboo like there could be <laughs> look at <that> little dog <laughs> and then there and then it's like there's this bugaboo energy or bugaboo energies, parenting, focusing on your children, co-parenting. Some of y'all, this your baby daddy, baby mama. Others of you, this could be somebody else with kids. Maybe their life ain't going as they want. Oh, police. Oh, child. Some of y'all, this your baby daddy, baby mama. Okay. Um, but others of you, this could be somebody maybe you dated that you want to have kids with. Or you have kids and you're just kind of taking care of your lifestyle. You're not really worried about these people. Um, these people are... They bugging you. They trying to bug you. They trying to irritate you in some sort of way. And it's like, I'm like living my best life over here. I don't need you to bother me. <laughs> like, <laughs> some of y'all may even get like a restraining order with the police card or something. Ooh, child, this is about to get messy. <laughs> Can I have one more spirit? But you just, you're staying in this high vibrational energy. And, you know, no matter what they say or do, spirit is telling you to make sure you stay in this high vibrational energy, Okay. What else do you have with this? Yeah, divorce, breaking a contract. Some of y'all could be separating or breaking up, divorce, breaking up, breaking up, divorcing, ending a lease, something like that. You could be separating from another person. And um, this is they're angry about it. Anger management. They're pissed off, honey. They don't like it. Sexual protection. This is somebody you're um, holding back your sexual energy from. You don't want to deal with. You don't want to be involved with. This is somebody you... Um, yeah, look, protecting yourself, need to keep yourself safe. You know you don't need to open up to this person, whether it's sexually, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. You know you don't need to open up to this person. Baby, you feeling good, skin's glowing, happy, your mental's right, you know what I'm saying? You smiling, doing you. And this person over here like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so that's what I see. And that's why it's like, baby, I don't even need you. I got me. <laughs> I don't need you. I got me. You thought that I needed you, but I don't. Like, this is somebody that, and, and they're sitting back, like, watching you be blessed. Like, literally watching you be in this blessed energy. So, let's see. Y'all yeah, really hurt my wrist. I don't know what I did. Playing around with snow, honey. I be on the, y'all, let me tell you something. About kids, when they that age, even my other two kids, I did it with them. Like, I will be crawling around on the floor acting like a dinosaur, dog, cat, whatever I need to to make them laugh. And then, of course, it never fails. I always end up hurting myself. Either I end up falling, I hurt my wrist. I don't know. I don't know. But the laughter of the kids, like, it's just, it's something about that. <laughs> like, every day on lunch, I come home to see my daughter, Snow, because she's here, and the other two are, of course, at school. And she be waiting. It's like she be waiting. She know what time it is. She hear me come through that door, she go, <laughs> I gotta record it one day. It's so cute. And then I come in and I rah, 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 rah. and then I'm like, okay, I'm leaving. I'm going back to work. And she's like, bye bye. It's, it's, I don't know. The babysitter's like, oh look, look, look who it is. That's funny. I don't know why I thought of that. Some of y'all maybe you're playing with your kids or something. Now I'm hearing the best part of waking up. <laughs> What's going on? overwork someone is doing way too much yeah somebody somebody's in your energy doing way too much honey okay somebody somebody doing way too much in your energy bottom of the deck bipolar disorder this is somebody who's bipolar they could be they could be mentally unstable 
Okay, this could be somebody that they just, they mind ain't right in some sort of way. What's going on? PTSD, good Lord. Spiritual narcissist. Well, that's why. Whoever this is, this is somebody, look, fancy living. Someone's used to living a good life. This is somebody who's like trying to manipulate the energy or like doing dark energy. They could have even like went and paid somebody. Spiritual narcissist type of energy. This is somebody, I'm telling you, like they, if they're not doing something on the physical, they're trying to do something in the spiritual realm. Like send you, like this be somebody like, oh, I hope that, I hope that be tripping. Okay. So maybe something has to do with that. How I just said, I always play with my child and then like I end up hurting myself. This person could be wishing like ill will on you, wishing to like hurt yourself or like wishing bad on you. That's why little things like that happen. But it's like, can't nothing, can't nothing shake it up because you're still having a good time. You're still enjoying yourself. So this person could be like trying to like mess with your money or just mess with your mood. Like, you know, because they going, they having in and out moves or up and down moves, you know. And like they're wishing bad stuff on you or they're wishing that, you know, stuff don't go right for you. And that it could be like y'all may be feeling it a little bit. Like it could be like little things like you bump your knee or you bump your big toe. But they're wishing like, oh, I hope they break their leg. But you like you end up like jamming your finger or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or you stump your toe or tweak your ankle. It could be something like that. Like it's hitting you. Maybe you feel it, but it's not hitting you like like they wanted to hit you it's like oh why like okay let's keep going let's keep going what's going on self-judgment because it's like they want you to be second questioning yourself like is this right am i doing what i'm supposed to be doing am i going in the right direction it's like they want you to self-question self uh second question yourself yes you are look Stripped and cleansed, you're being purified by spirit. And then look, your luck is about to change. You are going in the right direction. Your luck is about to change. You're walking into a new, and you know it. It's like you sense it. Like you can feel it. Although you keep getting bumped and bruised and hit and stuff like that. It's like you, you can sense that you're going in the right direction. But of course, like people are like sending you negative energy like this and this and this and do this and do that. Like that's crazy. Okay. Spirit, what's going on? avoiding someone's avoiding you or vice versa and this could you could literally be avoiding this person because you know like they energy vampire this person is draining your energy it's like you maybe some of y'all could be feeling tired maybe a little fatigued you know but you like you that's why i just heard fresh part first best part of waking up is folgers and my cause some of y'all could have maybe started drinking coffee or you're like drinking something like give you energy maybe you feel tired but you're like, I don't get why I'm tired, like I've been sleeping. But it's because somebody is trying to like send you negative energy or playing your energy in some sort of way. Like they're trying to send you spiritual warfare. This is an energy vampire. So this would be a person that don't really give to you. They just kind of take and pull from you. What else is going on? Hustler, always hustling, knows how to get what they want. Yeah, this is somebody who knows how to play the part. Look, sucky this. Seduces and manipulates me and paps me or someone needs to get checked. Liar. This is someone that you know, I don't know if you slept with them one time or somebody lied about sleeping with somebody or lied about being like a succubus or like, no, I don't just sleep with you because I, but you know this person sleeps with you because they want something. I don't feel like y'all are involved with this person anymore though because you got this sword here. You being like very cutthroat. Tell me more about this energy. Guards up. This person's guard is always up. Yeah. This person could come out very guarded. Diva. What well, I just heard entitlement. Luck. Your luck is about to change. Stripped and cleansed. You're being purified by spirit. Some of y'all are being put in the spotlight. You're being seen. You're being recognized. You're being noticed. Like is like some people may look at you like, man, that's a lucky catch, or that's somebody that you would be lucky to have. But that's why somebody could be sending you like negative energy because they're going through stress and trauma because it's like they done did something this would be the type of person that cheated on you and like you moving on and they like wait wait let me let me send them negative energy so but i don't know if it's the reputation yeah that y'all first of all thank you spirit i don't know what's going on but so <laughs> i'm starting to read without these cards hold on now second chance is someone's getting a second chance 
and then can't trust them. Some of y'all, this is somebody that wants a second chance with you. They want to come back into your life, but you don't trust this person. This person could have caused you stress and trauma and stuff like that. And that's why you don't want to deal with this person. This person sees you moving on and they like, no, look, leveling up. Your life is about to change for the better. They know. Some of y'all, this person knows that you're about to get into a new relationship or they know that you're moving forward to look for a better relationship and they know somebody's going to treat you better than they did. And this person mad because they wanted to come back. They wanted to have a second chance with you, but you could be completely avoiding this person. Child. Oh my gosh. Okay, tell me more. War-minded militant. This person wants to win at all costs, preparing for what's to come. And you know that. Some of y'all, this y'all ex. This is an energy drainer, energy vampire. This is somebody who, like, you get with and they just drain the mess out of you. That's why some of y'all could be feeling like this drainage energy. This is the X factor. Someone's still caught up with an ex, needing to X people out that are toxic and et cetera. Y'all know, y'all will know who this is because y'all know this person toxic. And that's why you avoid them. That's why you avoid them because you're like, mm, you toxic as I don't, as I'll get out. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to be bothered with you. But you know, it's like, I already know this person. They're going to try to like, they're going to try to cause war because I'm moving on because, because I don't want to deal with them. You, so you know, this person making amends. This would be the type of person you start moving on. You start being happy, making amends, resolving a misunderstanding. Like, yo, you know, we can, we can resolve things. And look, ain't no hate, ain't no anger. I'm not mad at you. There's no bitterness. We good. <laughs> okay, let's just keep it pushing and move forward. But we got sketchy. There's something off about them. This person could even act like, nah, we good. Like, we cool, we cool. Ain't nothing wrong. Da -da -da -da. Right? Single woman, not the committed type. But they don't like that you want to be single. They don't like that. They could be acting like they cool. Chaos. They, they would say, oh, no, I'm cool with being single. Or I'm cool with you being single. They not... They about, baby, they about to cause some chaos up in your, ooh, we, bipolar disorder. What's wrong with this person? Give me one more. Smoker. Some of y'all, this person smokes. Whether it's cigarettes, Mary J, hopefully not the other stuff, but this person smoked marriage. This could have been somebody y'all were married to or in like a long-term commitment with. Sexual connection, strictly sexual, but perfectionist. Others of you, this could be somebody that's in a whole nother connection. They could even be married, okay, or with another person that's trying to like put on a facade like they perfect Patty or perfect Polly. Others of you, this is somebody, if y'all were married to this person, this person wanted to be seen as like the perfect spouse, but they weren't. This could have been the spouse from hell. Okay, <laughs> whoa, whoa, and so they're like, if I keep causing issues in their life, keeping them single or making them look like they can't get nobody or don't nobody want to be with them, then that makes me look like the better spouse because I done moved on, got with somebody else, and they still over there single. That could be that could even be this, but people don't know this person behind the scenes throwing rocks, hiding their hands. You know what I'm saying? That could be this type of person. They don't know that somebody in the background causing war. Now, others of you, this person could have been in like the military or something like that as well. What's going on? Gaslight. Can't trust them. This person would gaslight you or they would gaslight a situation to cause an argument, to cause a fight. Gaslight you into like getting you out of your, your high vibrational energy to make you seem like you're not who you say you are. Like this, this is a sneaky mofo right here. What's going on? Fog. Someone can't see through a situation. Mm -hmm. Past life karma. Somebody's going through karma or they're paying. They're having to pay karma out. And that's why they're trying to gaslight you so you don't see it. What's going on? Tattooed person, some of y'all, this person got tattoos. Lustful vampire, sexual drainage. Mm, what's going on? They know how to lift your spirit. Mm, stripped and cleansed, you're being purified by spirit. Materialistic, cutting ties. Y'all know who this person is because, again, they drained you. Whether they used you for money, they used you for finances, they used you for um, 
for clout, like, you know, to appear better than they are. Like, this could have been somebody y'all, like, y'all was supporting the whole relationship. You know what I'm saying? But they want to look like they were the ones supporting it. And, like, you were the bum. You was the hoe. You was sleeping around. You was this. You was that. And But it's not, it's not, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Sketchy. There's something off about them. Always drunk. Smudge. Cleanse your space, phone, and self. Some of y'all, this person could be drunk all the time or, like, always under the influence. This person could be very sketchy. Abuse. You're being abused and need help or you're the one doing abuse. This person could have been abusive. So you could have been, like, having reactive abuse and this person would, like, try to record you or try to say, like, see, look what this part. uh-uh. Look what this person did. Look at them. Woo -dee -woo, woo When really they did something to you and you were just reacting to it. Like this would be the type of person they would cheat on you. And then say, oh, I'm divorcing them because they cheated on me type of energy. Like this, that type of person. Child, this is. <laughs> this is sneaky motherfucker right here. <laughs> this is a sneaky one right here. Give me a couple cards here. Tell me what's going on. All right. Tell me what's going on. Who is this person? How will they know? How will they know? How will I know? Oh, I'm hearing that song. How will I know? How will I know? <laughs> oh, that's my song. How will I know that he really loves me? Okay. That's an old song. Whitney Houston. So maybe you're asking that. Well, first of all, or somebody's asking that. Well, first of all, somebody ain't going to gaslight you and try to cause destruction in your life. I know that. I don't know. Maybe this person, okay, some of y'all, this person could have kept, kept you confused. Maybe their words not matching their actions. Or you're wondering if this person is gaslighting you. Yes, they are. <laughs> Candles and or crystals could be significant. Customer service representative. We have blessings coming in. We have tarot reader or tarot reading. Some of y'all could be getting a tarot, reader, tarot, uh, a tarot reading or you can be pulling cards yourself. Lottery tickets. Something about luck. Some of y'all could be hitting the lottery or playing the lottery ticket. You may win some. I am not encouraging. Okay. Platinum or rainbow hair. Car and or SUV could be significant. Throwing rocks and hiding her hands. See? See, somebody doing something in the background, like making it seem like you're not who you say you are. When you really are that person, somebody's gaslighting somebody. Now, I don't know if this is them doing this to you or somebody else. Maybe somebody trying to come towards you and you're trying to find out, like, is this my person? How will I know? But somebody could be gaslighting, like, but somebody doing something behind the scenes, okay? I don't know. Crocs and or slides. You'll know. You'll know. Just put your meditation. Sunglasses. This person loves candy. They have a sweet tooth. Something about that could be significant basketball and or football jersey maybe you're asking is this person gaslighting you yeah or should you let this person help you no you can do it yourself some that you can actually do it yourself you don't need this person don't let them gaslight you into thinking that you need them you don't need them okay grandma or granddad could be significant orange black white butterfly 40s and 50s cheerleader or gymnastics and or gymnastics Nurse, R-N-C-N-A, L-P-N, doctor, surgeon. Uh, headset, headphones, or earbuds. Money coming in. Glasses or contacts. 20s and 30s. Low cut or bald head. Lexus, Bentley, and BMW. Truck or Jeep. Some of y'all could even be asking, like, did that person just try to gaslight me? Yes, they did. They tried to start an argument with you. Yes, they did. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to leave it there, Scorps. Uh, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.